everyone, Nick here, and today we're going to talk about optogenics, a topic that has had some heads turning. Basically, it allows us to control certain neurons by inducing them with light, and in fact, the 2014 Nobel Prize actually went to a team of scientists that managed to use optogenics to map new types of brain cells. However, today we're going to talk about a new use of this technology that has been used to treat a previously incurable type of genetic disease that causes complete blindness. Let's check it out. All right, so long story short, the disease is caused by the destruction of light sensing proteins in your eyes. Now here comes the important part. Vision is nothing more than light that's reflected off of your eyes and then a bunch of signals that are sent back to the brain to create an image. Now if you don't have anything to capture that incoming luminance in the first place, then that's what we call being blind. And the scientists have come up with a pretty ingenious solution. They want to inject a non-pathogenic virus into the eyes of these patients, which will then infect the nerve cells and basically hijack the signals that are sent in between the eyes and the brain. So you may be asking yourself, how is this helpful and not dangerous at all? Well, the virus actually comes equipped with its own light sensing proteins. And the idea is that if you can take these and restore them with the ones that were destroyed by the disease, then you'll be much better off and we can go about slowly restoring your vision. Now, usually for procedures like these, it requires a bit of extra trouble. Because we're actually moving the position of these light sensing proteins to the back of your nerve cells, and light has no way of traveling through your skull through the nerve cells and then out through your eyes, it does require the messy process of implanting lengthy fiber optic cables in your eyes to help better transmit that light. But the bad news doesn't stop there. As of right now, the only form of vision restoration the scientists can give you is this very low res, grainy, almost monochromatic type of vision. But I still think we should look on the bright side because this is a huge step forward and I don't think we should discount this technology just yet. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.